What if your home became a battlefield? What if every day was a struggle for survival? These are not rhetorical questions for the people living in the Gaza Strip. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has turned daily life into a fight against fear and despair. In recent developments, the situation has escalated to tragic proportions. A young Palestinian child, whose name will remain etched in our hearts, died from malnutrition. A harsh reality that underscores the human cost of this conflict. Not far off, an Israeli airstrike took away the lives of 12 Palestinians who sought refuge within the perceived safety of their home. The walls that once echoed with laughter and joy now stand silent, bearing the scars of the strike. Amidst this turmoil, the International Court of Justice has stepped in, ordering Israel to allow humanitarian aid into Gaza. This is a desperate measure to prevent a looming famine, a grim specter that has begun to cast its shadow over this war-torn region. Reports of intentional starvation have been emerging, adding yet another layer of complexity to an already intricate and heart-wrenching situation. The ones who are entrusted with the healing the medical workers are not spared either. Reports have emerged of Palestinian medical personnel being mistreated, their noble mission to save lives compromised. Hospitals, the supposed sanctuaries of healing have been targeted, among them, Al-Shifa Hospital, where the smell of antiseptics has been replaced with that of fear and uncertainty. The strikes have led to further casualties and created dire conditions for patients. The world watches, holds its breath as the situation in Gaza continues to deteriorate. Despite the echoing calls for a ceasefire, the conflict rages on. The faces of the innocent caught in the crossfire are a haunting reminder of the urgency to restore peace. In summary, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas paints a grim picture. Lives lost, infrastructures destroyed, and hopes dashed. The people of Gaza, trapped in this vortex of violence, yearn for peace. A peace that is not just the absence of war, but one that brings back the freedom to live, to dream, and to hope. As we conclude, let us remember that peace is not merely a destination, but a journey that all parties involved must be committed to embarking on.